Hi there guys, welcome to the Dutch C channel, thank you very much for tuning in for my second video on 3D printing with resin printers. A how-to maybe series on resin printing and so far this is new to me so I'm kind of taking you on a tour or on a journey in discovering 3D printing with resin printers. And what we have here is the Illigo Mars 3 version 3 4K Pro printer. This video is not only about this Illigo printer but uh, printers in general, resin printers in general. But in this video I'm going to show you well what this printer looks like, what you get with it, how to set it up probably. Well there's not a whole lot of to set up <laughs> actually. There's hardly any assembly but I'll show you what assembly is required and how to do that. I'll take you on a tour in this series for which I'll have a link in the top right corner. In my discovery of resin printing, 3D resin printing. So let's have a look at this Ligu Mars 3 4K Pro printer. Here we go. Are you serious? So guys, unboxing of the Illigo Mars 3 Pro printer and uh, MSLA printer, 3D printer and you see an, a, a depiction of the printer over here, Illigo and obviously this box is a whole lot bigger than the boxes I usually unbox over here. <laughs> yeah, this is an RC channel, right? So what I'll actually do is put this box on the floor and show you what comes out of this here box. I'm, I'm anxious to see what actually comes out of this box. I am experienced with 3D printers but only extrusion 3D printers. So yeah, I've seen <laughs> pictures of uh, printers like this but I'm not sure what comes with it. So this is the Mars 3 from Illigo. Pro which should be a 4K printer and more on that 4K what is that? What do you need 4K on a printer for? More on that in a second. So let's first see what comes out of this here box. Okay the first thing uh, we find is um, an instructions manual and this is my second Illigo printer. The first one came with an excellent manual so definitely not something to sniff at. Might be useful do keep it around when working on with your printer. Next thing we have is a box with tools, EU, so a power line, power cord probably, power cord probably, yeah, it is a power cord indeed and a EU European power cord. So when you order this printer or any other printer uh, do make sure to uh, check the box for your region. So you get the correct power cord. It doesn't matter for the printer itself by the way. There's no regional difference in printers. They're all, they can all print with uh, from 110 volts and 220 volts. So very well packaged. I'll show you the rest of the packaging in a second by the way. Not unimportant. For a product that costs $285, not unimportant to have it shipped and packaged well. And uh, we have one final smaller box which contains tools. Um, I have no idea what they're needed for. Is there assembly with this printer? I don't know. Uh, definitely nice hexes by the way. But okay, you get uh, that, a uh, power brick. So these printers have an external uh, power brick just like uh, your laptop for instance. Then we have, what is this, a Ligu? Is this maybe some test resin? I don't know. We'll take a closer look at it in a second. Aha, uh -huh. uh, disposable latex gloves. Nice that you get those. Okay, you get a spatula to scrape the prints off of the print bed. Very nice. We get um, what is what the hell is? Oh, face masks. We get a bunch of face masks from the looks of it. Huh? Un unexpected. 
We get a second speculum, a plastic one. The other one was a met metal. Very nice. We get uh, more face masks. Maybe these aren't face masks. Maybe someone in the comment section can tell me what these are. Okie dokie. And we get a USB stick. So presumably, presumably, I don't know. Maybe these, uh, this one has um, sample models, designs for the printer. Okay. Then the last thing will probably be a side cutter to, um, well, snip off supports. And indeed, it is a side cutter. Okay, and the last thing. Our printer was packaged in uh, a sturdy cardboard box lined with foam, as you can see over here, and a foam lid to top it off. So, again, not unimportant, the packaging of this uh, printer was excellent. Very, very nice. So, what about the printer itself? Well, it's um, packaged uh, itself. This is just a UV shield. Probably also for safety and smell this, uh, this cover, but uh, partially to block out UV light. I assume at least. I mean, you don't want to have the, the, the resin cure prematurely. So this, this shield should block UV light. And so the mechanics of the printer itself are, as you can tell, wrapped in foam. Again, and uh, more foam, yeah, okay, and uh, here comes the print bed, right, the print bed is uh, at the top of the printer in this case, instead of uh, at the bottom. Here is our, what is this, the Z-axis, I guess, the Z-axis, and over here is our resin bath resin bath which is secured in place with two thumb screws yeah okay i will have a closer look at that in a second so this is basically what you see here the base of the printer again with a an elevator of sorts your z-axis uh, venting probably for the electronics and over here is your power in for that uh, power brick I showed you a minute ago. And more venting. This, this is uh, plastic and some metal on top over here. This, this looks, no, this actually feels like plastic as well. This riser, this column over here, this is metal, definitely. Over here, over here on the front you see a display, which we'll have a look at at a second as well. A USB port, a full-size um, USB port. So here is where you uh, insert your model data, I guess. And an, a button, an on-off button. So does that mean that this is a touchscreen? We will see in a second. Um, okay, so and uh, again, that uh, UV shield is wrapped in plastic as well. So definitely the packaging is immaculate. Also, again, this is my second uh, illegal printer. So far, it at least feels like a quality product. So let's then have a closer look at their resin reservoir. So this is where the printing will happen, right? In case you didn't know, you will fill this bath well fill to the maximum indicator i guess over here you see a max indicator and basically you will fill this bath with the amount of resin you think will be needed for your print maybe a little more but uh, okay and it has a transparent bottom as you can hopefully see however it does have a protective film at the bottom Oops, sorry about that. You will definitely have to take that off before uh, starting your print. Also, oop, also there's a protective film over the actual um, display. Yeah, let's call it the display. So the black part you see here 
is an actual display which will do the, the lighting of your resin. See, your resin uh, will harden from UV light, right? It's UV light activated and the screen will project what is supposed to be printed in UV to your resin. So this screen over here is what, what's the 4K in this printer. And I guess you can imagine that the more precise this, this display is, the more intricate your prints will be. Hence the 4K. So we've got our protective film removed from that. I'll remove it from the reservoir as well. And we'll set it back on our printer. It is um, captured. It's uh, well, it finds its own place, if you will. There's no guesswork in where this bath needs to go. And then you simply fix it back in place with the two thumb screws. Now, there's one more thing you uh, definitely need to let's say assemble and that's this the, the print bed itself so we'll have to mount this print bed metal print bed to this elevator the z-axis also be sure to remove the protective film from this print bed <laughs> otherwise your printing will not do very well so Ah, cheeky day. And you're left with a metal surface. Okay, so you'll need to, again, mount this to this, uh, the Z-axis uh, elevator. However, it doesn't really fit. Uh, so uh, we'll have to uh, move this, uh, this head, this elevator up. And for that, we'll simply switch on the, the printer and let's see what we can do to elevate this elevator. First time I switch on the printer. Let's see if anything happens. If something happens. Hopefully you can actually see what the screen displays. And a fan kicked in. You can probably hear the fan. So we are presented with a menu. A tool, a system and print. Well, obviously we can't print yet. System, I don't know. We'll have a look at that in a second. Tool. I assume with something in the tools menu we can move this uh, z-axis and manual probably manual there are two arrows over here and a home button a stop button and a back button okay uh, well let's try that uh, but uh, arrow up and sure enough hopefully you can see that oh it moves up a little Alrighty. Okay, and probably I can now put our head on, like so. And this is also where the tools actually come in. You get uh, a couple of hex uh, drivers with the printer. And again, I'm not sure why we get four hex drivers, but we'll need one to secure the head to the z-axis elevator and oh actually there's a thumb screw over here okay so we only need the hex driver probably to uh, change its angle maybe uh, for the calibration yeah but not to actually fix it in place okie dokie well that's that's one step um, you know what? I'll do a separate video on getting things set up. Uh, mostly because I simply don't know yet. This is all new to me. But um, yeah, so the printer should be more or less print ready by now. You'll obviously have to uh, fill uh, the bath with resin. And probably do some kind of calibration. But I, again, don't know. I'll uh, show you in a separate video on getting started with this printer.
So let me see, loose ends. Yeah, actually, this, this here over here, this illegal thingy me jig. <laughs> what is it? This is actually a USB powered, you see the USB connector over here, a USB powered air purifier. What? Yeah, there's fans in this lower section of the air purifier and there's actually a, a huge block of carbon. Yeah, this is a, a perforated block of car pure carbon. So again, that will purify the air that gets sucked through this, this, this thing. And uh, yeah, again, there's a, a fan. Oh, you can actually see there's a fan in this uh, lower part of the air purifier. And yeah, nice. They definitely don't, didn't have to include this with the printer. It also is a little bit ominous, right? <laughs> Do we, what? Uh, air purifier? Do we need an air purifier with a printer? So that, that alone will tell you that you need to take precautions with printers like this. Also the printer coming with uh, air uh, respirators um, so, and, glo and gloves should tell you that you will have to take a little more care with a printer like this. Uh, opposed to the printer you see in the background, a, a, a simple extrusion printer. More on that in a video on how to actually print with a printer like this. So things you, again, precautions. Now I must say, the interesting part of the pr a printer like this, uh, apart from the potential extra resolution of your prints, but for me it's interesting to see that there's very few mechanics in a printer like this. Right, a, an extrusion printer has three mechanical axes, a bed that can actually move back and forth, the head that can move from left to right and up and down. This only has one up and down motion. Other than that, everything is done with the screen. So what does it mean? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, definitely interesting to see the difference in the uh, in how these things work. Okay, so that's it for now. That was basically an unboxing of this printer and the first impressions. I will do uh, a whole lot uh, more videos on resin printing, but if you are left with questions, definitely don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. There might be uh, questions that I haven't even, even thought of. So again, help me out. If you have questions on printers like this, comment section below. Thank you very much in advance. And again, that's the unboxing and definitely have a look at my playlist about resin printing. There might be a whole lot more videos by the time you are watching this video. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.